Hey Fish Fam friends, this is Bob, Kaler's Aquatics. This is a very impromptu short video uh, to uh, introduce a couple of new fish and to talk about uh, a new stream time. And uh, also just to show uh, how easily, hey Anthony, how easily some of my marine fish will take food and uh, I'm always careful feeding these guys. Uh, they do have teeth. <laughs> hey, Scott. And they can bite. Um, but I think it surprises some people, especially the these two guys compete, the squirrel fish, the pink guy, and then the queen angel back there. So they kind of get into some stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in some jumbo krill. Hey, George. And let's just see what happens. See that? And there's another piece. They each got a piece, smaller pieces. Hey, Katie, uh, here we go. They get them actually before they have time to even get out in the water. But specifically, I wanted you to see how, um, I guess, vicious or how damaging, hey, Ed the uh, queen angel can be especially for its beauty and the size of its little mouth let me go ahead and feed this uh, squirrel fish and get him on out of the way here i'll let him have it out of my finger there if he wants it he usually won't take it but i've already fed him like four pieces so let me let him have that one boop and that's actually the size of a very small clownfish so he does eat my clownfish if I don't keep him well fed. A couple of other small pieces. Let me get a decent size one if I can over to the uh, angel. I really want you to see how he shakes things apart. Literally, he shakes krill and shrimp to pieces. There goes a piece by him. He wasn't interested in chasing that one. So let's see if he'll take this one or if the clown got it. I mean the uh, squirrel. All right, let me get a couple of more pieces out of the jumbo krill here. This is uh, frozen, but it's kind of soft from sitting up here for a few minutes. I had been feeding them for a bit. Hey, Chew Chewy, before I decided to, to do this uh, little live stream. Ah, man, it's not as, not as soft as I'd like it to be. <laughs> oh, well. So uh, the other thing I wanted to do, here's a small piece. I don't even see him now. These two clowns right here, uh, I hope are gonna be a pair. They haven't paired up yet. They're just kind of running buddies, but some of you know that uh, clownfish, uh, if they don't have a female or a male, they'll change their sex. So hoping this, smaller one will be the male and the larger will be the female if they aren't already uh, but these are a mated pair uh, are not a mated pair but they're buddies they were swimming together uh, at the local fish store that I did the uh, videos at the other day and yes that's what I came home with I don't think I, I uh, said that in the videos but uh oh got a piece of food stuck there but they're called, uh, uh, the breeder term for them, their tank rays is their fancy, fancy white. Uh, that's a little bit out of his pay grade, fancy white clownfish. But they definitely were tank rays. They love pellets and they love flakes, <laughs> but they will take some frozen food as well. So that's a new addition to the tank. You can never have too many clownfish. Uh, and also, I was going to talk uh, briefly about the uh, fact that I'm going to begin doing a 
live stream on Sundays. Yeah, I'm still working with this bag trying to get food out of it. I should just lay. There we go. There we go. I got some now. All right. Uh, going to start a second stream. You know, guys know that I do Wednesdays at 6 Eastern time. And with people going back to work uh, with restrictions being lifted and stuff, I've lost some people that would normally be in there, even some moderators. So uh, after talking about it a couple of weeks with the stream and the uh, friends that I have, uh, subscribers, uh, it was uh, unanimous that I should do a second stream at a better time. So the Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern time slot came open. And uh, since I'm already already uh, doing um, modding for Susie Q, one of her mods, before, let's see if he'll get this. It's a big piece of Creole. He didn't, but I think the squirrel got it again. I really want you to see how he shakes food apart. Anyway, that will be starting today at uh, eight, right after Susie, and then right before Danikin. And of course, I'm a little anxious about it, but it's just like a, uh, um, a little anxiety thing, but I'm excited too, Sandy. Hey, Big J's. Hey, Dank. So uh, hopefully that'll go well. Um, I will have a surprise, a special guest, uh, not the whole stream, but for a part of it. And uh, holding on to that is just quite like a treat, you know, for everyone. And uh, I'll bring them on at some point and uh, after we get people welcomed and that kind of thing. So I can't get the, butter, the uh, Queen Angel to come up and do its thing. Nope. You think this tank needs to be wiped down, huh? So, that's what I wanted to do, was do a little bit of feeding. Um, and also uh, introduce the new clowns and then talk about the stream tonight. Now, Haley, Oddball Aquatics, and I, the plan is for us to split that. I'm sorry, that's the bag, getting more food out. To split that time and go every other week. Hey, Melvin, awesome to see you. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, she wants me to remind her to do it. So we'll see. I hope that she will do it because we, we'd love to have some regular content from her. So uh, I'll start off this week. Uh, she did a little short impromptu last week during this time. So that's kind of what got the idea started. Uh, anything that falls down and they don't eat, here we go, no. That guy there will get it, so. Nope, they're not in the mood for krill. They do a water change today, so that may be what's going on. They get about a 40 or 50% every week. So, okay guys. We're at almost nine minutes, uh, 16 people watching and 18 likes. That's awesome for just some little impromptu. Uh, but I will see you tonight. Uh, hey, Brad. Hey, Ginger. Uh, see you guys tonight. I'm giving the leftovers to these guys over here. You never have to ask them twice. These big Severums. Never have to ask them twice to take food lots of glare I still need to get some covers covers on that window behind me but yeah little dragon uh, not little dragon little uh, dwarf um, giraffe cat is doing awesome in here and I'm hoping to pick up another one of those. He seems to be growing. This is uh, the beginning of the feeding today for these guys. So, wow, that glare is awful, awful. 
And I even have clothes on today. I'm not in boxers. I even have on real clothes. So I'm about to lose, uh, and I'm just kind of letting this play out. I don't want to distress her anymore. That's the mom of my original pair. Uh, I'm just starting the Ed so I can make it be an hour easy because I watch all my tanks, check the temperature, see who's eating. You know, it, if you just spend five to 10 minutes on each tank at 42 tanks now, so there you go. But yeah, that's the mom. Uh, she's still alive, she's still breathing. I thought about pulling her out last night. She's the mom of the uh, rainbow cichlids uh, that I've had such, there's one of her sons. There's another one. Now, I've got a bunch of girls, like eight or nine, in the tank they were raised in. So I'll probably pull one of these males out and put back in there when I'm ready to spawn some more. And also pull a female into here to replace this one. So that mom, I've had her for three or four years. She was an adult when I got her, and the male passed on. Oh, probably two years ago after spawning all these kids. So... Kind of sad to lose her. She's been a, a great fish, uh, but rather than stress her out and put her in a box, and that's where she's decided to go to to just be restful, and no one's bothering her over there. So she's not stuck there. I kind of don't like her position, but I don't want to get her swimming around again, so I'm just going to leave her alone. She's fine where she's at. I'm keeping a close eye on her. Of course, I don't want her to pass and mess up parameters in this tank so alrighty guys anybody have any question or comment uh, Sandy I'm excited you're going to be able to to come in the stream I've always loved Sandy's channel so if you don't follow her you're missing something your sebums are doing better. Awesome. I, they're the fish that I've had the best luck with, George. Uh, that and geos. I wish we could see them. If I go on this side, I think it's worse. I definitely have to get me some cheap Walmart blinds or something. It's a little better. But yeah, I'm dealing with two windows and a French door over there. And a partridge and a pear tree. So... But yeah, they need, I love the light, but with tanks, it's not so, so much fun. It used to be a huge drape that went all the way across up above, and I hated it. It was a big pole with big ornaments on the end, and there were like circular hoops that went around that post, and it was a big, thick drape. It worked, but um, I just didn't like it because you've got all the woods back there, and you know I don't want to cover that up, even if just for tanks. So at night, I'm kind of open to the woods. Whatever's out there can see in here, but I need to cover it anyway. So those purple people eaters are probably out there at night watching. And I'm also just, just sorry if I'm streaming over anybody, but I don't think I am, but my little stream's not going to be enough to affect anybody, so... Anyway, so... Paul's Koi Pond. Hey, welcome. I think I'm a new subscriber to you. I believe I am. Angelfish Keeper. Howdy. Yikes. All right, S-P-R-Z-Q or A-T-A-M-B-U-N-K-R-Y, welcome. Not gonna try. Oh no, sorry to hear that, Brad. But yeah, I'll probably, uh, probably sit here at this table with this as the backdrop behind me because it'll be getting dark at eight and uh, maybe the light won't be too bad over there. So we'll see how it goes. Another option is to sit over there at the desk. There's a table here. 
so I can sit here with the tank behind me. I'm about to move the snake over there. Uh, Sandy, uh, Nathan, Sand Creek snake. I'm about to put it right over there uh, on that table. I've had it over, well, you can see it over there. Its habitat's right over there with the blue vases sitting on top. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to show that tank right there beside there. I moved everything off that chest to put a new tank up there for fish. Hey, Ginger, fish that I picked up in Nashville, and I've yet to do a vid on them, so I don't want to really talk about that yet. But yeah, he's over there, but I'm not so sure he likes uh, over there. And another thing is there's an air vent right under that table. And even though he has his heat lamp on for a few hours each day, and he has a mat underneath, um, I still think he'd be better off over here. And also that gets a lot of light over there. I just, I'm gonna try him out over here and see how he does. He's staying hidden over there. I was gonna take him up to the uh, vet today, the exotic pet vet, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think I can get ready and take him and be back by eight. I might save that um, for a stream. It's not a bad stream idea. Uh, the vet is there Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday that does the exotics, and he's there till 11. It's actually an emergency pet center uh, that my vet and the ARCS vet own, and uh, so he has other vets working there, but that exotic vet's there three days a week, uh, like 24 hours, but at 11 it becomes emergency pricing. So as long as I go, so I might do that Wednesday rather than trying to rush and do it today and just take uh, the snake up there and get him looked at, just a healthy visit. People keep telling me to, there he is, to get him out more and socialize him more and he doesn't seem to want that though. He looks out this end a lot so, we'll see. All right, guys. I will see uh, some of you, all of you, I hope, tonight at uh, 8, right after Susie Q, and right before Danikin. I just love that slot because those are two of my favorite channels. They're in my top five for sure. There's Nathan's Convict Fish. Two of them. And fire mouse. Looks like I'm gonna get some green water out there. Excuse me. The convicts are really growing. The two that I was afraid to ship, I shipped 20 to Anthony, were a little bit bigger anyway, but they seem to be growing fast. Of course, outside they're going to. There are a few tadpoles that haven't been eaten in there, but only a few. He lost, oh, you lost three? I haven't watched that video you posted. See the little tadpoles? Gosh, earthquake. That's an earthquake. That's not me shaking. See them on the side there? But the frogs seem to lay eggs like, I don't know. It seems like every other night, but. So they eat the eggs and they eat the tadpoles, but there's plenty. See them all down in there? Plenty, plenty, plenty of tadpoles. And they're leopard frogs. It's what I saw down in there, sticking their head out the other night, but I couldn't get a bit of it in time, then he was gone. And heck, 17 people here and 13 likes, so I hate to... Yeah, they do look like baby fry, but they're frogs. They're frogs for sure. I need to get out of here and feed this tank and the pond, or the tub. Getting a lot of algae there on the front. Hard to see with the reflection. Sun's right over my left shoulder. You can see a fat man in a blue shirt in there. Yeah, see there's a, that one's a little bigger. It'd be cool if some of them but somebody said, you know, they'll hunt down and eat every one of them. They're a bunch of them. See them down in there? 
Yeah, that's the tank boss for sure. Here come some more of them around. Those are the fire mouse. He gives the other convict a lot of grief. Um, so it's probably hiding. I always make sure it comes out to eat, but there's the two little fire mouse. So far he hasn't bothered them too much. I guess long term, yes, he's chasing them off. If you can even see in there. Plants are doing incredible. I don't even know what's in those roots. It could have lots of tadpoles. Don't see the other convict leaves fall in here and I just let, let them stay, of course. Yeah, there was a couple of the, couple of the uh, tadpoles moving around. Huh, I still haven't seen the other convict. There it is back there. Uh, there's the, see it down looking up. It's in the far corner back there. The fire mouse were blowing up at the other convict. But yeah, that one's growing too. It's just not quite as big as this other one. And it's not the boss, but I always make sure it eats too. Here it comes over. It's trying to avoid that one though. Hey, Susan. And let's do an elusive tub look at. There's usually not much to see. Let's see, I'm still zoomed in. Sorry. Hey, Don, I don't know if I said hi to you in this stream. Plants and tomatoes, are they're doing okay. They get a lot of shade here, but like three or four hours of sun. That's my water sprite or water wisteria. You can see how it's all up out of the tub, growing crazy, crazy. Immersed, I guess. Uh, haven't fed these guys. Ed, there's my, uh, one of my, uh, what do you call those plants? I know Sean Pectek had them last year in his outside pond that you have to bring them in. Got two or three of them in here. Ed, I know you've got some of them. Yeah, I really hadn't seen it in a couple of days. There's one there. I may have one over in the tank. I think I got, they come in bunches of like three. Great price on those. I think he gave you a couple because he wasn't sure they were gonna live and then they look better. So he started selling them and I got one bunch from him, five dollars, but I mean, that's nothing. I was hoping we would see something, but these guys stay hidden. Guppies, uh, Rasbora, brilliant Rasboras, Champagne Jam Guppies, and some Goodyads are in here, or Lemias, which are not Goodyads. Uh, the lemias are the tiger, tiger lemias. And I have a lot of fry, but I don't see them right now. Perhaps I'll clean out that center, but mosaic. Yeah, it's a mosaic something. You're right, Ed. Thank you. It's a mosaic. And my water hyacinths are just crazy big, but they bloomed early on. I don't know if they bloom more than once, but they're crazy huge look like pitcher plants and they may be pitcher plants I don't know I don't think so the water lettuce um, of course um, duckweed there's one of those damn excuse me but hey Ian welcome I think that's one of those little uh, Dobson fly nymphs. See it right in the center, something moving. Hey, Maria, I didn't see you, but dang, got a selfie stick and never use it. It's to stabilize. Wow, and make a tripod with. No, that's a snail. 
Looks like a big pond snail. Forgot to mention there are lots of snails in here. The water doesn't look as, uh, let's see some more snails, doesn't look as dark as it was. So I think the plants are pulling those tannins out. Okay. Uh, let me see if that other mosaic plant, I have so many projects going and I never finish one of them, so. No, it's not in here. Hey, Jason. I know I was wondering what's going on with you. Ian, we, if he has it there, Ed or I can get some and send it to you in, a, in an envelope. It's no big deal. Just let, let me know, let Ed know. He grew it in his tub. I don't think it'll last long. I'll be back down there in a day or two. He said the, I asked him after we got back, Ed, and Rob said that the, that section, the section I'm getting of the tanks and stand would be ready in, I think he said four to six days. Hey, Jason. Um, but uh, I'm not sure. I had a dream that I came out here one day and stepped on a snake, but it was non-poisonous, so I'm always looking around down here. One, I don't want to step on it with my fatness and hurt it, and two, I don't want to be stepping on any snakes, period. It might, it might have been poison. The dream might have been wrong. I don't see that other mosaic. I know they, uh, I know they, uh, you know, sprout out. This is just so thick. I'm excited to see what comes out of this tub. I couldn't believe the previous couple of years how many fish, few went in and how many come out. So we'll see. Yeah, I don't see the other mosaic. Maybe it didn't make it. That one's got a nice open spot. But yeah, Ian, uh, hey, Logans. I got more of them, but still has more. Oh, you did get more? Well, Ian, if you want uh, one, let us know. I don't know how they do inside, but I think Sean uh, Pectek overwintered his in a wet, very well-lit plant. They're a little bit hard to find and they're pricey. I looked online for them and they were hard to find, but the ones I found were really pricey, so you don't need to pay all that. We could get you some and ship them for a lot less than what. Priscilla, I was just dropping some large uh, jumbo krill into the uh, squirrel fish and I was trying to get the um, queen angel to do its crazy thing where it shakes uh, stuff apart. Hey, Jesse. And it wouldn't do it. They're due a water change today, but uh, that's the only thing I can think that might be slowing down their uh, feeding, their eating. And guys, I never did do anything with that uh, end through in there. It still has prints on it, arrowhead or something. So, yeah, they're invasive. Yeah, they really are. Those uh, next year, maybe. Next year, I'll do something with that pond. I still have so many trees down, you can see from tornadoes and uh, still only working in cash like a caveman. I'm setting up a bank account and set up PayPal. Well, you don't have to have any cash for us to get you a plant and send it to you, Ian. Just whichever, uh, whichever one of us should like to do it because Ed and I are in there all the time. And if you're, I know Ed's kind of creepy, so you may not want him to have your address. <laughs> so give your next door neighbor's address or something. Ed, that was too easy. Sorry. All right. Let's 
see if Priscilla, if we can feed a fish for Priscilla. You see, I've got to water plants too. Got to water plants. He had taught me to put, to do that, put the camera against the glass and it takes the glare out. Whoa, talk about an entrance. You're something, you're a tough guy. Priscilla, I was saying I'm gonna move Nathan's snake, Sandy, to the other side of this room. I don't think he's enjoying that window. Uh, I think he enjoys being out of the, all the dogs barking back in the area of the house that they stay in and I stay in most of the time, but. All right, let's see. This stuff's getting not even half thawed now, but it's coming apart. So let's see if the angel will take a krill. It's not, it's not even rushing up at the, uh... all right, there's a krill. That is weird. Yeah, I probably need to do a water change. I did feed them last night late. Uh, I had to kind of, we, we did have an emergency at the ARC. Fortunately, the vet was out of town and we didn't have to use the emergency clinic. He had a tech go over and open up and let me get antibiotics, panicure, uh, antimicrobial, which is Metro, the same we give fish and some IV fluids and tubing and needles so I could give the dog some fluids. It's having bloody diarrhea, God love it, but it was not parvo. We had had its uh, stool checked early in the day while the vet was still open. They, all of them around here close at noon on Saturday, so it's better today. Thanks, Lucky Stone. Another great channel there, Lucky Stone. That angelfish is just not interested when I do water change on this. In a little bit, I'll get any uneaten things out, but there won't be much with those crabs and that big hermit crab in here. I'm really interested, uh, Priscilla and anybody else that knows what they are. The black guys there, or the dark guys, they were like some kind of little, see the neon on them still? They had a lot of neon on them when I got them when they were little, and that was the attraction. And then they got black, and now they're getting like that. So I'm eager to see how they finally turn out. How they finally turn out. Hey, Catfish Terry, how's your tank doing? Anthony's giving advice, so I know I need to see what it is. Careful everyone, ever since I got a package from Bob, I now get some awkward content in your mail. Yep, I ask you to keep that private, Anthony. Okay, yeah, and Ed, I'll pay for it if, if you end up doing it. I'll pay for the plant and the shipping since I volunteered us. Ed owes me a pie though, so I might just let him do that instead. <laughs> All right, let me give these guys over here some of these. I normally thaw all this, but they'll rip it apart and thaw it. It's really interesting to watch them eat. The severums are what I call stuffers and gorgers, and they will literally stuff themselves. And the geos, not so much, because they're really sand sifters, but they do love them some good frozen foods and some krill and all of that. This view, the glare's not, not horrible. Just too many plastic plants. I 
those are a couple of juveniles that's in like three months. Those are, uh, George, if you're still here, that you were asking me about the Heclia. I think I have four juveniles. See, they're still working on that down there. Blue Velvet Damsel. Thank you, Angel Fish Keeper. That is what they were. I am Pam. This is an impromptu because I was doing a feeding of some marine fish and introducing some new fish and talking about streaming tonight. And per usual, it's gone longer than I expected, but when 30 people are here and seem to be having a good time, I'm not gonna put them out. That's the male I've had for some time. So you can see how pretty the juveniles are coming up. I was hoping for a female. You know, I lost my female uh, through no fault of hers or mine when my other tank uh, shattered, broke. Pam, did you stream last night? I just thought about that. I was over at the Ark for like four hours and talking to the vet, messaging him and doing IV and on everything on that little dog, but what's my favorite fish? <laughs> if Ro was in here, she'd laugh because we have a joke about that. That hand, hands down, my favorite fish are these Severums. They're gentle, they... Oh, you didn't? Okay, I'm glad I didn't miss anything. Didn't miss it. The Severums, hands down. That's my probably my oldest Severum. She's a gold red spot. Back in the day when they cost a lot of money. Looking a little bit rough. And there's a short body, which I didn't know were short body when I bought two of them. Hey, Kenny. Kenny, Kenny. And my second favorite fish are geophagus. And I've got, look at that. And that's just swimming around looking like that. Yeah, I saw the video, uh, Ronan. I may not have, I liked it. I may not have commented though, but I saw the video. So that's my favorite fish. Severums just edge out by a zillionth of a point, the uh, geos. So that's why this tank is full of severums and geos but I like a lot of other fish. Yeah, this tank needs water change also. This room is due today. This guy never goes upside unless the nitrate gets up like to like 40 or 60. So it's ready. See that? I mean, he's okay, but he never does that behavior, that lazy behavior. He's my indicator. I've learned to watch him. I guess I can feed the blind fish. I haven't fed yet. It's a Severum also. I saw him peeping at me. He's blind in one eye, and what's the old expression? Can't see good out of the other one. Yep. Let me get him some food here. He is right there. Gorgeous fish. He also somehow sustained a, some kind of injury probably viral or bacterial uh, moving, sorry, moving. Uh, now you went down there, come back here. Come back here, you went three feet away, four feet away. Now, there he goes, here. You have to kind of watch, oh, you dropped it. Why did you drop it? He can see my hand, but he can't really see the food well enough. I think he sees, sorry, those feet and that dirty floor. Come here. Come on, let's try that again. There he goes. Good guy. Yeah, he would starve if I didn't hand feed him, but he's fine. Well, I think you did the best thing, Ronan, by getting new fish. I'm not sure there wasn't something going on with those others because there were nothing but trouble, no matter what all you tried. So this is where using that stick head would be helpful. I'm trying to open, open this food up. feeding you say 
I just started using this and it's primarily for the for the Severums. Uh, but they really like it. Is it Hikari? Does anybody see the brand? Don't know. But yeah, they like it. Got really good current in here, so gives them a little chase. And it doesn't sink. Even the geos, you know, that are not top eaters, see that? If you teach your geos from the time they're young, here's my Jurapari. They're probably the sweetest fish I have, and they have demon, you know, in their scientific name. I think that was done jokingly. But yeah. I've got three big ones, and uh, I don't know how many small ones. There's a couple small ones following the big ones. There's a small one. Bob Steenfod had those, but he may have sold them all. All right, guys, some more pellets. Come back with some frozen foods later. I'm gonna give them one big feeding. I didn't see that, uh, Roman, so I'll have to go back and catch up on that. What did you get? There's that old um, Grammy that I've had probably seven or eight years. It's cycled so many tanks, including this one. Helped cycle them. It's trying to eat those pellets, but they're just a little big for him. They want me to close this lid back. The scaredy cats. I can put my hand in there and they'll come over and nip at it. They don't do the damage a piranha does, but they definitely can take the top layer of skin off. Hey, Peter. I was just about to text you, let you know I was live. So you could let Doug know I'm <laughs> Doug Gray. Yeah. One of my tidal filters I broke the or the impeller broke on it and Tidal sent me a new impeller. I did a little video on that. It was really easy to change out and it's in the uh, piranha tank, the Paku tank. Uh, Rose going live, guys, for anybody that wants to head over there. I just saw it, got a notice for that. Thanks, Peter. Not a guppy tank for sure. I wanted to do a species profile on these guys, the keyhole cichlids. It's on the list. Well, she can do that. I've let you know. So, Ro has a great stream, so it won't bother me if anybody needs to go over there at all. Um, yeah, those stayed really small. I got some of those from Steamfought as well. And I got them to be uh, company with the last one I had left, an old male. And sometimes there he is. See how big he is? But those others just aren't growing at all. He definitely perked up. Hey, David, David welcome. He definitely perked up and looks much better after getting a... Uh, a little pack of, see, where'd he go? The size comparison there. I've had them for six months, so they should be adults, but they've only grown a tiny bit. So I don't know if they're dwarf 
keyholes or what. But I make sure they get plenty of food and you can see they look great. Great fins on them. I almost had a shot of the little one behind him. That guy found him a little bit of food. And there he comes. Tanks need to be sprayed with some vinegar. Let me try these food sticks. I know the I know this guy loves the floating foods too. The clown. Not the clown, I keep calling him the clown. Yeah, he's just not hungry. That's more for the crabs. You guys probably noticed I added a new rock in here uh, at Aquatic Aesthetics. I asked about live rock recently. There, he's going up to get one of those cichlid pellets. It's so funny how things are marketed to be for this kind of fish or that kind of fish. And, you know, some fish do need a lot of Veg vegetable or algae, but even things that say algae, if you read on them, there's no algae in them. Things that say spirulina, there's no spirulina in them. So you really have to watch the contents. But yeah, I mix all of my foods up. And those are those cichlid pellets that that fish is eating. He loves them. Picking them off one by one. Break, break the small, break a couple in half. Phew. Here comes this guy. That's the guy that I feed by hand. Hey, Crystal. I'm sure he wants a pellet. That may be something to eat right there, but I don't think so. Pam, I get my days mixed up too. And it's crazy. Like I'll have just been somewhere. Like that's the schedule that day. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, what's today? I don't know. Yep, I will be. I actually went ahead and set the stream up. Candy getting after me about that finally, finally sunk in. So I do have a link out there. If someone, yeah. I miss Peter too. Poor Rico has been sick for several nights. End up having diarrhea. Hold on now, don't get too excited. There, uh-huh, as he was gonna pinch me. He got one of them, or did you drop it? Well, if you drop them, they float up. We float down here. <laughs> Let me get him a, what he really wants. This great camera work. Here you go, kid. This is what he really wants. Come on. There you go. Don't you spin pinch me. Get this. Here. You got it? You're about to fall. There he goes. Oh, no, Ronan. Do you know what's wrong with it? Little Rico has liver cancer, and he got real sick, sicker than he is now a year ago. I took him to the vet and they diagnosed him with liver cancer. Five tumors in his liver and so I did all the home hospice stuff, giving him injections of pain medicine, nausea medicine, all kinds of stuff and forcing him to take liquids and he finally got better and got back to kind of his old self. But he's kind of not doing well right now. These are kind of the symptoms he started didn't have diarrhea, I had my nephew. Or oh, that can be as bad. Did your nephew keep you up all night? That's what happened with uh, Rico the last two nights. And then when I had that emergency at the ark, it kinda did me in. Oh no, vomiting cat is never good. Look at him working his way in there. I always worry about him, but he always, he's going in there so that nobody will come by and grab it. Oh, Anthony was wanting me to get those t-shirts done. Griffin found me. 
Griffin found me. He always does. Welcome, Griffin. You must have finally got up. I was up at like 4.30 to go to the bathroom and Griffin was streaming. Take him out for his feeding and fun. What kind of nephew is it, Ed? They did. If I keep on, if they don't take any of mine, I'm gonna catch up with you, Pam. What's your number like, uh, 14 human boy? Oh, a human boy. Oh, uh, that's the one you were telling me about that you were wanting to put to work. Lifting tanks for me or something. I'm gonna, let me show you. Whoa, hang on guys. Anybody that didn't throw up from that, I admire you, but I have no idea what this looks like back here because I haven't been back here in months. This end of the house, it's a little ranch style house. And room there, bathroom there, that's all out of focus and dark. And then another room over here that would be, uh, this was like a, and I've already got a box spring out of here. I'm not sure magic happens right here. You got it, Peter. The ghosts sleep here. See, there's no mattress, but you can see their, where their heads touch the headboard. Anyway, I'm thinking I'm going to just take this down, which would take even... Let me get... There. Take that down and put it in the garage or in the attic or somewhere out of my way. And on this wall, put that uh, rack... That's 200 gallon racks, um, Ed. What is it, Tibby? Tibby wants to be on. Tibby wants to be on. There he is. There's Doug Gray. Doug, I'm glad you made it. I heard you were missing me, so glad you made it. But yeah, I need to do something with that table, that glass top table. I had it at the Ark once and it was in our way and dogs tried to pee on it. Ginger's on here, she says hi. I'm looking to see what this is. A lot of dust in this room. Like I say, it hadn't been, there's somebody in the reflection. Oh my gosh, look at this guys. January 58. So 55, 56, 57. So I would have been two years and two months there. I must have been a big baby. That's my dad and me. Dad passed away maybe a year ago. Oh gosh, look at down there. That's me when I didn't have hair and my sister Kathy that I talk about, she's two years older. Look at dad's shoes and socks. We lived on a farm, look at his dirty shoes. Linoleum floor. Little phone table, that antique phone, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't remember that furniture at all. That's the smartphone, you got it. That was just laying out in here on the dresser. I can't keep the, it's got all that tape residue on it. I don't know why it was laying out. Oh my gosh, there's a second one that was under it. That's why I need to stay out of these catacombs back here. Look how skinny my daddy is, was. I was the same way after I got, look at those cheeks. Oh my God. Oh my God. Who is that kid you're kissing in that photo, Bob? That was my dad kissing me, Ed. Looks like Bob Dylan. Shh, that's supposed to be a secret. Maybe that wasn't on Olea, maybe it's a rug. He's got on his work clothes there. 
He worked for a table factory making tables. Wow. Most people here are not old enough to remember those red rocky horses, but I do. The springs made a cool noise when you would, and I would always rock back and forth and back and forth. It'd make me go to sleep. That's actually my sister's rocky horse. Wow, that's enough of that. That's depressing. <laughs> and not really, but... And I don't remember who put that little TV in here. I think my cousin did when he was visiting from Florida. Yeah, those rotary phones. This is a car that I had that was a lemon, an Avanti. So I got a poster with it, a Rick Moon poster. They're made in South Bend. It was in 83. It was the 20th, yeah, 20th anniversary edition of those. Yep, Studebaker made them Doug's right. And then Avanti, somebody bought the name in the right to keep making them. And they would make 100, 150. I think it were 150 this year since they had a 20th anniversary. They were expensive cars. They were nice, except my moonroof leaked and they could never get it to stop. It went back to South Bend to the, the factory like three times. Had red leather inside, all chrome. Hey, Lisa. But I finally sold it. Somebody was gonna make a, a hay pat. Somebody was gonna make a convertible out of it. Tibby, Tibby. Tibby needs attention. Tibby needs attention. Tibby's my fish buddy. Yeah. But yeah, those racks are going to go in here and I can actually keep this door closed. Yeah, it's true, Pat. I never could fix anything. I never had auto mechanics or anything, so... Scott Tibby, Sergeant Tibbs. I forget what movie Sergeant Tibbs is from. They named a litter of kittens that were dumped at the ark uh, after movie characters, and I just told him to name them stuff, so he ended up being Sergeant Tibbs. One of the other volunteers has his brother and had a big birthday party for him and all that, and he had on a little birthday hat. He didn't, oh, look at all the stuff in the floor. There's my water chart. And there's something, leaves, tracked in leaves from back there. All right, I'll sit down here a moment. That's stuff there. Maria, there's the cork. That's as far as I've gotten with that unboxing it. When I said I have seven projects and none of them finished, I wasn't lying. But that's on my short list. I'm going to clean out Nelson's habitat and get all of that stuff out of there and put in the correct and I'm going to move Nelson and I think Nelson's going in the dining room in there on that buffet and then the stand Nelson's on I think I'm going to go ahead and bring it in here and put my new 55 on it and hey Matt welcome and then empty out my 40s the contents of those or as a hobby until the cars became too computerized yeah I have some pictures of dad somewhere too. Don't worry, I'm not gonna look for him, but working on cars and sitting up in the car, you know. Both hands left. Oh, there's Dharma. There's Dharma, yeah, Dharma's a baby. Yeah, she doesn't care much about the fish, but she loves her pop. She does. She loves her pop. I'm thinking my hair's sticking straight up, but... Yep, it is. She's licking me on the chin. Yeah. Yeah. She's a good girl, that Dharma. She's a good girl. We can see all the hairs in my nose. Yeah, oh. 
Ginger, do you have any that's this lovey? Oh, and she's just like that. She's like that with everybody. I try to open the lock doors. Yep, yeah, that's a nice little truck, though, you've got, Ginger, though. My sister uh, has one about that same year, and she wouldn't take anything for it. It's got, like, oh, bless her. She's resting her little head against me. You daddy girl? Huh? You daddy's girl? Oh. There she is. Dharma's a little kitty. <laughs> Doug's like that with women, but most don't appreciate it. Yeah, she was an art kitty and ended up being back with me due to gastric issues, but we finally resolved them after four years. Uh-oh, Tibby's running around. Here, Tibby. Somebody just said something and I was gonna ask about that. Well, you can see, Doug, how the, oh, about my sister's truck. Yeah, it's only got like 40, 43,000 miles. Um, and she won't take anything for it. It's got the, um, Ed, you have a nice truck too. Somebody just sent me a thumbs up from the ARC. I'm not sure why but they did on Messenger. Yeah, listen at Tibby. Listen at Tibby acting out. Yeah, Ed, you need to get one of those Tesla trucks so I can ride in it. We can race. I was actually, when I was having to get a truck because of my hip surgery, and I hadn't had a new car long, but I could no longer sit low in the car I was looking at uh, the truck that you're driving, Ed, and then I decided, well, it actually wasn't high enough to do the job. You're gonna be trimming your Amazon puffer's beak today? Be careful, Ginger. Always err on the side, listen at me, she's a pharmacist. <laughs> Always err on the side of not enough sedation. That stuff takes a while to wear off. Dharma Ray, Dharma Ray, you're not talking? Huh? She's got her nose pressed against me. Ed is my GPS. He really is. He's a great GPS. Well, hey, Joel. All right, Dharma, I think they've seen us enough, you guys. Look at this. Oh, I haven't even combed my hair today. My hair. That's all right. I'm not going to clean up. I need to get up there with some vinegar water and wipe that. That was a year ago where I got that... Uh, I don't know if it's really mold, but it's from the humidity. I've got my uh, dehumidifiers now, but it does it over winter, you know, because the heat doesn't deal with humidity as well as AC does. I think hers is a, a nine. I can't remember now. That may be older than that, but she loves it. She's not as big as me, so it's perfect for her. Got some new plants in here, but obviously they're still sitting in their little buckets. I think that's Bacopa. And then I got some of that, um, what you call them, the long things, but they're gonna go in the 55 if I, not if, but when I get it set up, I'm not sure where it's gonna go in here probably over there behind me where I was showing that stuff on the wall. Yeah, those are nice, Jason. I really like those. And I looked at those too, but they have like a car seat. It's just that height off the floor. I had to have something, you know, like a chair that sets up high because of the hip, um, the angle. So I didn't flex my hip. What, Dharma? 
Dharma's talking. What? She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah. But yeah, I looked at those. I also drove the, I drove them and I drove the uh, Jeep, the little Jeep pickup. I followed those forever. I need some step bars. Yeah, I couldn't get in my truck, Lisa, without step bars. I couldn't get up in there. Four foot 11. Careful, Lisa, Doug Light, short women. Priscilla, you too. Yeah, I know you do, Kenny. Lisa don't want to give, uh, Lisa, uh, Danny doesn't want to give up that uh, Mustang though. Yeah, those Broncos are nice. I also thought about getting a, a uh, not an antique, but whatever the word is, I want one that'd been redone and all that on those, but those things are expensive. Yeah, well, that's a nice car. Those Mustangs are sweet. These guys haven't been fed and I don't have anything in hand to give them yet. This tank has been one challenge after another. If I don't have enough flow, I get algae, which I have now. If I add any more flow than I have, it's really too much for the uh, betas. And I think I have five betas in here. They've been picking at that one. He's back there picking at it now, I think. Glow beta. These guys might be going over to that 55 with my other rainbows. There's a gang of them in here. Sandy, I drove the rams too, and I really liked them. And uh, the Sierra was even, it's bigger than the Silverado. It's for a big person, and I'm a big person. Um, it sat up higher. The Ram was very comfortable for me, and the seat was high enough, and I know it was truck of the year. And I had gone to my uh, guy at the bank, my financial planner or whatever, um, that tells me what I need to do and what I don't. But I went and asked him for certain about a third of the cost of the truck. And uh, I had gotten it down to the Ram and the Sierra. And I asked his opinion. Um, and I was really leaning toward the Sierra, but it cost uh, 20,000 more than the Hay Dharma, than the Ram, uh, like I wanted. Um, but he said the Rams are really nice and they are truck of the year, but it's a Dodge. And I'm like, but you know, Dodge doesn't have the problems. That's why it's truck of the year. It's, you know, dependability and all that. So older people still have that mindset. I remember when I was a teenager, my cousin had a Dodge Challenger when they first came out and it was nothing but trouble, nothing. So anyway, since I really wanted the Sierra, I went ahead and got it. That's all it took to sway me over. But yeah, those rims are sweet. It was like kind of like driving my car, but being up higher. The Sierra is not like driving a car. It's like driving a big, it's like driving a van or a bus and you drive a bus. So you understand what I mean, Sandy. It was a difference. So that was the downside to the Sierra. 
was that it was so big. And of course I've hit several things, um, three things for sure. Always on the right side, I still haven't got used to it. Damaging winds. I've been talking over an hour and I've done nothing, so I am going to get out of here and did somebody post my link to the stream tonight? I talk and don't pay attention. I primarily wanted to see that it would post. I hope it doesn't, Pam. Doug, the live stream. This I just came on to try to lure you out and it worked. That sounds nice, Ed. Wait till the lightning's hitting good. Gonna follow me all day. Well, you can help me do these python water changes. I've got all of my salt waters, all of the fresh water racks, um, this 33 and that 180, and I'll have them done. Thank you, Anthony. So it did post out good. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, thank you. I've only done that a couple of weeks. Yes, Doug Gray, you can see me not only on Wednesdays. Um, it's not a race, Pam. Don't worry. Be happy. Anthony's fast. But that's okay. I'm gonna open this drawer up and look what I found. Look what I found. That's the picture that Bob Steinfot sent me uh, with an order of fish, I want to say. And it's actually a photo that uh, Jimmy Gimbel took. I stuck it in the drawer here for safekeeping. Tibby, get out of there. That's a safe spot. That's not where I keep my art, by the way. Bob, it is you, then Kenny, then me, right, and Susie's before me. So it'll be four hours of fun and follies for me. But yeah, Doug, I'm going to do uh, alternate every Sunday night at 8 with Haley, Oddball Aquatics. And if she doesn't, if she decides she doesn't like it, she was a little ambivalent, I guess, about doing a regular schedule. She said that. So if she doesn't do it, I'll, uh, you know, step in and do every Sunday night. But uh, now that was, um, who was in that slot before my mind? Yeah, yeah, so let's do, uh, does somebody have JH's link? And I'm, I'm odd for him, but he's got a bunch of good mods, so. Watching one of my favorite streamers, Ronan, thank you. Uh, Aqu Aquafunk, yeah, yeah, Aquafunk, Jason. So he's not wanting to do a regular stream now. He's doing some great live, uh, great videos uh, inter intermittently, uh, but he didn't want the regular stream time. But should he ever want to come back to it, I'll step away from that time. Um, and be glad to let him have it back. And I'm trying it out on a trial basis. See you, Lisa. See you tonight. You stay safe too. Um, what I'm hoping to do is grow the live streams. You see, even though this isn't Wednesday, we have 30, 35. And uh, I really like to just grow the number of people, but schedules six o'clock sounds like a good time and it's not bad but people are just starting to get home from work um, in the eastern time zone but then in the central uh, they're just getting off work and of course further out they're still at work so it's really hard to for people to follow and i had a lot of people going back to work and they would tell me that I even had a couple of mods you know that uh, couldn't be here that I needed. So talked about it a couple of weeks and came up with this, talked to Brandon. Um, see you, Peter, over on uh, 
fish tubers notifications and we talked about several times. There were a couple of places that uh, had other people going, but I didn't want to go up against anyone. I didn't want to do that. And since I'm on uh, Sunday evening from 7 to 11 anyway, I thought I might as well spit, fill that slot and see if that does uh, what I hope to do. So there's one of my camera holders, phone holders there bent down out of the way. They work if you use them. I'll probably be using that one in a little bit. Does anybody have that link to, we could do a raid over there too if you guys want to. There's 30 something people in here, 31. I don't know if I can get the link or not. I don't think I can on StreamYard. There's Dharma back. Hey Dharma, where'd you go? I'm glad you're back. Lay down. Uh, I was at Rose earlier today and we did a row raid on, uh, uh, there goes that beta picking at that, see him back there. I'm gonna have to give the um, Joseph, J.H., Sandy. He goes in like 15 minutes. Halo flowers, one stars. I'm not gonna be able to be in there to mod. I might be able to lurk, but I gotta hit these water changes. I'm way behind now. Codfather. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Is that Joseph? There's Joseph again. So guys, Joseph will be going um, shortly. I think about 15 minutes. Yeah, it happens. How many times do I ask you guys what I'm thinking? Or what am I talking about? You want to do a bob raid? I know Pam can come up with something better than that. Sandy, what do you say? Seventy-nine minutes, and I was going to do ten minutes. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I gotta feed my fish and start water changes. Boxer Bob, oh, I like it. I like it. Amber may not be too amused with it. Oh, she won't care. Caught you off guard. Oh, I knew Pam would come up with Boxer or something. So we'll do hashtags Boxer Bob. I know that Amber will know what that's about. He may not, but she's right there. She'll fill him in if he doesn't. He probably thinks it's a dog because of the rescue. <laughs> I just love their channel. I love them and just, I'm just so happy that they have each other. Little gushy, but sorry. I'm trying to focus on positive things. I'm trying to. And they are a very positive influence on our hobby. Look at you down there, you mean thing. It's a mean thing. Uh-oh. I tend to put them up earlier, Ronan, than most people do, so. Yeah, Pam, I've got on pants today. See that? I've got this scab, see this scab, Pam, on my leg, so it's hard to get boxers over it. <laughs> that cork would. Yeah, I would, but you know, people, when you ask in a group, people say, I wouldn't yet, so 
You could wait a day or two, I'm sure. Maria Z. Maria sent me these scabs. Yeah, that's the cork that Maria sent me, guys. If you didn't see that unboxing, that's awesome, awesome. All that cork, it's huge, she said. That little piece is huge, and this one is, I think she said that was a small and a medium. My God, look at it. And what I really like about this is the way the cork bark is. If I sit it up like this being the top, that will hold water and it'll soak in there. I know, Doug, we'll see. See that? She didn't have any money or candy, but she sent me the cork. She actually sent it to the snake. And so I'm gonna split it between Nelson and the snake. Yep, Doug, I have some awesome friends awesome hobbyist friends hey did you all see a uh, flight of ideals did y'all see uh dan's unboxing i watched it twice i watched it in the parking lot at walmart because i got hooked on it before i went in and uh, so that was 15 dollars worth of gas sitting there i'll never get back um gasoline and then i watched it throughout the store there were two so many me too pam but I'm just holding my breath on the price on those. There are a couple of them I want. I love the yellow and red. Yep. And I love those gold spot uh, half beaks. And there was another half beak, but I like the gold spot. See you later, Ronan. Keep us updated on that guppy. You going to put it up, I bet. Yeah, me too, Pam. We'll see these tanks that I'm fixing to get are uh, for salt water and there's four sections each one or 25 gallons each and they overflow into each other and they're not well they were drilled but he's sealing them for me and i'm getting the racks so i'll probably just do um we'll see i may do a little hang on back on one of them one the end of each one but i definitely am going to put sponge filters down in each 25 um and see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Had to count it in my head. Two 100 gallon tanks with four 25 gallon sections in each. Um, plexiglass, too, so I can lift them. Uh, used, but duh. I got a huge, great deal on that. $180 for both tanks. Him sealing them for me, sealing the, where they're drilled and uh, the stands. So all I have to do is bring them home and drag them in and set them up. They're gonna go in that room back there. I was, and, and so I can have eight new kinds of fish, but I can have them for grow outs for guppies. See, that's the thing is I didn't wanna set up another rack to really breed out guppies. So it's really kept me from doing what I wanted. Endlers as well, so. Or I can put new kind of fish in them, whatever. Do you just put them in a breeder with nothing? Some people do that, but I always put a sponge filter, a heater, unless they're axolotls or certain barbs or goldfish, you know, cold water things. But I always put a little heater and see in a 25 gallon, I can use like a 100 watt heater will probably be more than enough. I'm not sure those little, um, little ones that are preset at 78 would do it if there were four of them. They might. Who's Lita Ford? I don't know, Maria, if they do or not, because I know the half beaks I got from Dan before, the platinums, I never could. Uh, it was hard for me to get them to breed, and I think it was a temperature thing now, uh, that in retrospect, and I don't have any more of them. That was like two or three years ago, but they did uh, predate on uh, their offspring. It's really hard, like with guppies and platies and those kind of live bears, to really judge when they might even be close. 
So they would drop fry and I might see one, but before I could catch it, I couldn't see it and it'd be gone. So I tried just leaving them with all those plants floating, but they got them all or they died. So I don't know. Uh, these seem to be bigger and they're a lot more colorful and they have great big beaks. So Maria, I don't know. With CPDs, that might be pushing it. Yep, What's, what Sandy said. I always have some plants in there because the babies will pick on them. Gets the stuff they need to eat off of as a guitar player, singer that was one. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I love John Jett. I will have two of those breeder boxes and I do put some plants in them too. Sorry, I missed that. Yep. I'm trying to get everything sorted and settled because that sale goes off in a couple of weeks and I want to be sure I've got everything I'm gonna need. I'm not gonna set it all up right now. I still have tanks I haven't set up. I did use one of my 20 longs and we got a little glimpse of it earlier, but thank you, Anthony. Hey, Amy, uh, but I've got fish I never kept before in it. And I've got them some things ordered from Amazon and so forth. They're a specialty type fish. And so uh, I've still got to put their canopy on and need a better light for them, things like that. So, but they've got a sponge filter and I squeezed some beneficial bacteria in there from another one and they're eating well. I got five of them. So they're right to my right, but I don't wanna, I know it will just create suspense. They're right in that tank. Can't quite see any of them. <laughs> I want to do a video and try to do like a walkthrough one time video like a like a species profile because I'm still learning about them too and a couple of you guys especially one of you has really really given me some great advice on them so tease you right Sandy no boxers so I'm teasing with fish today Ozzy Osbourne oh that'll be interesting Chewy I hope I see that Maria, you need to do a video. Here he goes again. He's being a fart. Look at him all blown up there. Bye, Ronan. Ronan's left more times than who? Shirley McLean. And come back. Oh, he's just going around. All oh, that algae. Okay, it must be time for, no, it says it's 4.50. I think JH goes at five. So why don't we take a break, guys? I know I could use one. The other two, I made some for you. Okay, yeah. Maria is like me. She doesn't like her voice, but unlike me, Maria has a great uh, narrative voice. I love her voice. So not, nothing creepy, Maria. I just like your voice. So it's a, good, it's a positive on your vids. Yeah, well, we can tell, Doug, but that's okay. I'm teasing. I do the same thing, Doug. So Doug started copying me. Remember Boxer Bob. Yeah, I'll see you guys in about eight or nine minutes over at uh, Joseph's hashtag Boxer Bob. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. We ended up with 26 and 42. Awesome. 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 Bye, guys. And see you tonight at eight.